Come out. You took your precious time getting here. Come, let's... Talk around. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. Talk around. Unbelievable. Hmm. My body has changed into more cogamites than I've eaten. Can you even comprehend what has happened? This means that all bug snacks are one and the same. Each one could change into any other with the right stimulus. And now that is true of me. Now, use the snack activator to its full potential. I want limbs of Noodler, Cocomite, Banabra, and Strabby all at once. I have a hypothesis on four. much. Despite your general ignorance, you have been of use to me. Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there a threshold of crumpusness? When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle beam? Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. Hmm. <laughs> The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. I will experiment on Snacksburg. <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Trouble with your pets there? Shut it, Wambus. My little ones are just excited to see me. That's so. Bet it's easy to keep them in line when they're half your size. What are you saying? 
You really love bug snacks so bad? Go big or go home. You! Oh, go on back to your cactus, you old coot! What does it look like? I'm sorry. I'm just about at the end of my rope. Just give me every sort of bug snack that digs underground. Oh, I must look mighty foolish sticking to my guns like this. But you don't give up just because things get tough. If nobody else believes in me, I gotta believe in myself. It's that or... or nothing. <laughs> Lufty. Snorpington. So, you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpinati scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You waste your talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward. I. You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. I thought so. Leave me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. I am Flufty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. To study bug snacks, obviously. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelder blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Shelda, that mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. Ultimately, Agabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Yes. I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave.
Hey, bro. Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? shall be shared. Am I? One who is called Shelda exists beyond the self. Ah! The questions must cease. Wisdom can be gained only through experience. One who is you, tainting others with the toxin that is bug snacks, have strayed from the mother's path. So it is. You must atone. Go in peace. Picantes. In seeking inner peace, 
Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. Seek the yellow sauce within the great maw of stone. On this I shall be sustained. <laughs> Within the great maw of stone. Yum is one, and one is craving reapers. Consider the sandscape a reflection of the mind. One unable to escape its dry embrace. First, an act of rebirth to break out of my current shelter. So too must you break shells, crack open the egglers, 
give them new life. I too have burst from my shell and so oozes forth my spiritual yoke. Yet obstacles devour that yoke, the sinister peccantis of temptation. To truly destroy these obstacles, one must break them down into their elements. Because it's 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 because it's
got this, we got this, we got this. We got this, we got this, we got this. Snack of temptation removed. Yet, one still lost in darkness, seeking the light. For only in the light of Mother Nature can the toxin be purged. Seek a rasby deep below. A hidden ruin, a maze of trials. Guide this rasby to one's side. Oh, 
was lost now is found the path to light determined the time has come egress from the sandscape so it is that shelter survives it was a metaphor now to snacksburg goes me to bring such clarity to my followers but it's so sore. Oh, I'm to sell. 